these slow cooked carnitas are one of the easiest meals you'll ever make. Just add all the ingredients to a slow cooker, set it and forget it. And after a whole day of cooking, you'll have these awesome carnitas that you can put on so many different meals. I'll be using the carnitas for tacos, but you can use it also for quesadillas, burritos, nachos, sandwiches. You can get creative with it. Let's start off with our pork. We're going to be using pork shoulder, also known as pork butt. And the one that I'm using here is about 3 pounds. Take off the string if there is any. You want the pork to be as dry as possible because we're going to give it a nice sear. This step is completely optional, but I like to do it because it's going to add a lot of flavor. Season all the edges with salt and pepper. Press the salt into the pork so it helps penetrate through the meat. And I'll continue to season the pork all around. Now let's heat a pan on medium high heat and wait till it gets really hot. Once the pan is really hot, we're going to go in with some olive oil. Just enough to cover the bottom of the pan. Swirl it all around. And then put in the pork shoulder. The moment you put it in the pan, it should be sizzling pretty hard. If it's not, just take it out. And then let the oil heat up for a little bit longer. I like to press down the meat so that the surface area is in contact with the pan. And let this sear until we get a nice brown on that one side. I'm only going to be searing on the two large sides but sear it on the smaller sides if you'd like. Take it off the heat and look at the color that has developed on the pork. This is going to add so much flavor as it slow cooks. We'll add it to our slow cooking container or the dish or the bowl or whatever you want to call it. This is a four quart dish. And we'll also add in all of the juices that were rendered from the pork. Now we'll prep the other ingredients. We'll cut up some garlic. I'm using about six or seven cloves here. Use more or less to your liking. I'll peel and give it a rough chop. Throw it into the slow cooker. We'll need an onion and we'll do the same. We'll peel it, give it a rough chop, and then throw it into the slow cooker. And we need some orange juice and I'll be using the juice from two oranges. I like to roll the oranges so it loosens it up a bit and you can squeeze it much easier. Cut them in half and squeeze it in. Next we'll need some ground cumin. I'm using whole cumin here and then I'm going to grind it down myself. I'm going to try to aim for a couple teaspoons worth here. Using whole spices and grounding them down yourself is a great way to keep the spices fresh. I'm okay with this consistency of the cumin, so in goes the cumin. And then we'll need some oregano. I have this Mexican oregano here and I'll use a big pinch. This is completely optional, but I'm going to go in with some pickled jalapenos. You can also use fresh jalapenos, but I'm just going to use these pickled ones instead. A couple slices will do. And that's everything for our carnitas. Now all there's left to do is put our dish into the slow cooker, cover with the glass lid, and then we'll cook it on high for about 7-8 to eight hours, flipping halfway through. My slow cooker only goes up to 6 hours on high, so I'm just going to make sure that I'll have to turn it back on after the 6 hours. So after 4 hours, this is what it looks like. And I realize I probably should have put the spices and all the vegetables at the bottom of the pork. It kind of just sat on top here, so I just moved everything down to the bottom. After 8 hours, this is what it looks like. I mentioned earlier to flip the pork halfway through, and it's because I didn't. And the top of my pork is a lot less tender than it is at the bottom. But that's okay, because we could still pull it apart really easy with my fork. Transfer the pork to a bowl or a dish that's large enough to hold it. Take two forks and start shredding it really thin. And if you haven't already, please subscribe and like the video. It really helps me understand if you are enjoying the content, and I really appreciate it. The side that I'm shredding right now is the top, and that's why it's a little bit tough. But that's okay because I'll still be able to shred this. I found that holding a large piece with a fork and then using the other fork to kind of scrape it was much easier and a lot less tiring than trying with both forks. Keep shredding to whatever sizes you like. I like a combination of both thick and thinner slices. We will fry this up later and even though if there's big pieces we can break them up as it fries. 
We're going to reserve the leftover juices and we'll add the juices back in when we brown our pork. But just looking at it, there's a lot of fat that's floating around and we'll try our best to take out as much as we can. Since this pork made so much, I'm going to freeze half of the meat and also half of the juices. It can last up to a couple months in the freezer. And with a couple pounds of pork shoulder, it's going to make a ton and it's a lot for just one person. Finally, it is time to make our pork. I'm going to be making tacos. Heat a pan on medium high heat. Once the pan is hot, add in some olive oil and add in as much pork as you want. I'll be making just one taco here just to show you. And let the pork get a nice sear on it. Break up the larger clumps if you have any. Once there's some browning, we'll pour in a bit of the reserved juices. Since there's a lot of fat in the juice, I wouldn't pour in too much, but it's also going to help brown the meat as well. The juice will quickly evaporate, and then it'll start becoming really brown like this. So now, I'm just going to move all the meat to the side, and I'll throw in my tortilla to get it warmed up and a little bit brown. And once I'm happy with it, I'll put my carnitas right on top. At this point, add whatever toppings you like. I'm going to add some pickled onions, and pickled jalapenos, some salsa, and that's it. Homemade carnitas. It is so easy and it makes so much. This is perfect if you're trying to meal prep. It's great for the wallet and you really do just set it and forget it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I hope you all have a great day.